Okay, hello everybody. So I decided to make this video because when I received this X1 Carbon 3D printer, uh, I was stumbling with it for, for some time in the beginning. So basically it was not working at all in the beginning. So th it gave some uh, Z-axis errors calibration didn't finish. It says that there were some uh, uh, the force sensor for z-axis is there's an issue with it and uh, and uh, I googled it and found the wiki and uh, there was said that you should check that is there something interfering with the lead screws or or the cable or something like that but but everything was free. Not, nothing, nothing there wrong. And then I found found an article that uh, it might be that the uh, heat bed is uh, interfering with the chute on the back, uh, the, the waste chute on the back. And uh, uh, I, ra I raised this bed completely up, up, and then checked that is there any gap between the chute and the bed. And basically, they were interfering there. And uh, uh, in the instructions, it said that uh, you need to basically uh, loosen all the six screws. So there are two screws here, and two screws on the other side, and two on the back. And uh, once you have loosened them, uh, you will just pull this all the way into this direction, so all the way out. Uh, there are up round holes here and there's a pin pin there that uh, it will allow let's say two millimeter movement back and forth and, and also sideways so I noticed that it was all the way down uh, on the back and then I moved it uh, all the way up I mean outside uh, or to the front as, as much as, as as much as it went and uh, then uh, tightened the screws and the issue was gone basically. Something funny about these screws, uh, two millimeter head, uh, socket head, uh, every other screw had this kind of a tape on, on top of it and uh, uh, similar tape that you can find on those uh, warranty void stickers. So you needed to break break the tape to to uh, to get to that socket head. I don't know why did they add those tapes there, but but every other screw had had those tapes. And uh, so so basically that was the the fix for that. And one thing I noticed also when when I got this printer is that uh, all these lead screws they were dry, bone dry. There were no grease at all, so you should have got this kind of a uh, few few of these lubricant grease bags. So I suggest that once you get the printer, uh, apply this grease. Uh, one bag will be plenty to lubricate all those three lead screws. So there are lead screw on the right side, on the left side, and on and the back. So one, once that is applied, it will. Uh, also move smoothly. Yeah, that's all. Thanks. Yeah.